Hey guys, the name is Jasper, and welcome to part 3 analysis where we're going to talk about episode 100. So let's talk about the elephant in the room first. As it turns out, hindi of course matatapos ang El Filibusterismo story sa episode 100. Um, we were led to believe na matatapos nga ito episode 100, pero nope. I think we're going to get uh, one more week of El Filibusterismo, mangyari yung lampara scene. And then one more week, I believe, para sa epilogue ng epilogue ng um ng Mara Clara de Bala, which will feature Clay and Fidel. Yun ang extension na sinasabi ni Barbie Fortes sa isang interview a few days ago. Now, ito yung masasabi ko. Ito yung masasabi ko. First, um, I do like the fact na, okay, we're not ending this in episode 100. Because clearly, as it shows, um, they are really taking their time to shoot the El Filibusterismo story, ba? So I think this is good. Um, it's good na hindi nga mag end on episode 100. Kasi, you know, um, para hindi mo ramdam, hindi mo ramdam ng nirash nila yung El Filibusterismo story. That is one of my small nitpicks knowing na Okay, you guys, we only have like four more weeks to tell the El Filibusterismo story, which is really, really short. Pero, four weeks ba yun? Or three weeks? Pero, as it turns out, I think we're going to get, you know, around five to five to six weeks to tell the El Filibusterismo story, which is good. This is what the show deserves. And I think this is what we deserve. Um, it's good for us because we are getting an extension, basically. Um, I'm not sure kung saan nagagaling yung balitang 100 episodes matatapos daw Febru February 17 yung show. Um, sana I did more research about it. Sana I tried to look for like the source. Pero you know, uh, I was led to believe na matatapos nga ito on episode 100. So, alam niyo yung feeling na alam niyo yung feeling na parang okay. Nag-review ka. Nag-review ka ng mabuti. Kasi alam mo kinabukasan, magre-recite ka sa school. Okay? And then dumating yung kinabukasan na yun. After all of those times and hours na nag-review ka kahapon, as it turns out, dumating ang review, ay dumating yung recitation at hindi ka na itawag. Diba? Hindi ka na itawag. Sabi na la, hindi, ano, bukas na lang. Or, hindi, next week na lang. Yung, ano, next week ka na lang magre-recite. Yung feeling na handang-handa ka na for something. Tapos hindi mo makuha. Even though it's something that you're really afraid of doing. At the same time, it's something that you don't want to happen. <laughs> Alam ko, recitation is for grades. Pero, do you know, kakabahan ka dahil mga recitation. Pero, parang, you just want to get over with it, di ba? This is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm feeling. The fact that I prepared myself, um, handang handa na okay, episode 100, this is it. Uh, matatapos na episode, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And then suddenly, ma-realize mo, hindi pala matatapos ng show sa episode 100. Um, at the same time, nangyaring extension sa client, uh, client fidel thing. In that case, it is like my fault because I, I set up for something that as it turns out, it's not going to happen. But at the same time, I can't also blame myself. Because um, I was, again, I was led to believe that episode 100 nga matatapos ang show na to. That's sabi daw ni, ni Dr. Uh, Suzette, ganun ganun. Yung showrunner, ganito, yeah, episode 100, episode, pero tapos na daw sila mag-shooting, nalas na yung ano, pero, yeah, wala pa rin, uh, we're still getting more of these episodes. But again, that that is just a nitpick, okay? I set myself 
to that kind of um uh, to that kind of thing na inexpect ko mag- magtatapos lahat ng episode 100. Diba? Uh, pero nope. Um, but anyways, that means I believe we're getting two to three more weeks of Elephant of Wilsonismo. I, I mean, Mark Clary Barra Show in general. I'm fine with that. I'm excited to see where everything will go. I'm still really curious on what the ending is going to be. Knowing na patay na si Mana Clara. So we can throw out the idea na magpapakas- yung theory ko na magpapaka- magpapakasal si Mana Clara at si Bara. We're going to have a Peter Smith ending. As it turns out, no. Um, the writers um, stuck to their guts. Stick to their guts. And yeah. Um, right now, I um, I want to believe na Kung ano yung maging ending ng El Filibusterismo, there's a huge chance now na yun na maging ending mismo para sa show na to. At least sa El Filibusterismo arc ng show na to. Pero, base sa abangan, base sa abangan, nakangiti si Clyde dito. And whenever, when she was kinda saying goodbye to Fidel, I have a feeling na she was able to save Man, I I, I can't spoil. Okay, I'm not going to spoil anything from the books. I I want to say that. Pero maybe there's a there's a huge chance na. I say I feel like whenever I say something about the ending, parang ini spoil ko na rin. So I'm not going to to say anything. Pero um, in a nutshell, I think we're going to have a little. Um, a small we're going to have a different ending not a huge different ending but more like a slight different ending in a way basing sa scene na to sa abangan I think this scene right here is going to happen on episode um, 105 which is going to be on a Friday and then next week after that is the epilogue between Clay and Fidel, which is episode um, 6 to 10, uh, 106 to 110, I believe. With that being said, this is a pretty good episode because, um, you know, um, in some shape or form, El Filipulisrismo is, con- um, is basically a retelling of Noli Metangere. Pero yun nga lang, instead of Chrysostom Ibarra, we got um, Basilio and Isagani. And it's a retelling of Tony Mitangare kasi it simply shows na kung ano yung cancer sa society mismo, it's still going to be apparent on the new generation. Diba? And, you know, in order to remove the cancer, you need to remove it from its roots. Clearly, uh, Nolimitangere, yung characters ng Nolimitangere, they weren't able to remove the roots kasi the cancer in society here is still ongoing, diba? Now, we have yung grupo ni Fidel, pati ni Elias, and also we have Simon who are trying to remove the roots, diba? N- ng cancer na yun. They have their own methods of doing it. Um, that's why both of them couldn't agree in one method in which it will satisfy both Simon, Elias, and Fidel. Pero, again, this is this cancer thing is a multi-generational curse that keeps on happening. Kasi, whatever Mara Clara um, experience with Padre Salvi, it is what we're seeing with Huli and Padre Gamora, I believe. And it's simply sad. Diba? It's simply sad that that is the case. Rizal is... Rizal keeps on implying that this thing right here happens to every generation. As long as the Spanish government 
and the Spanish people are living in the Philippines. Because they they always um, they always try to control over the natives, the locals, which are the Filipinos, de right? And when you go back to Isagani and um, Paulita, again, that is an issue that Mana Clara and Crisosom Ibarra had to deal with um, during the Nolimitangani days, right? with the uh, character na yun? Yung with the other person na balak ipakasal si Maria Clara Maria Clara with wait lang ito lang ko nga ito lang ko nga dito sa ano kay kay Bing who was Maria Clara in no limitang ade supposed to marry na hindi ko masasagot niya to Gamitin na natin yung AI. <laughs> Letter L yung pala nun eh. Um, Pwede sabi na na please. No, 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 no. Um, um, who... I mean the other person. His name starts with the letter L. Letter L yung pala nun eh. Tira natin kung lalabas na dito. Yeah, this is just my way of showing you guys um an excuse to show this AI. Pero tira natin kung masasagot niya. L. And I not limit the characters. And what on the Mahina was on my pardon. Linares, you know, Linares. Whatever Paulita and um, Isagani are facing here is the same thing that Mana Clara and Ibarra had to face with the uh, Linares scenario, diba? And at the same time, it was also Doña Victorina who's trying to push that marriage between the two of them. And now we're seeing that thing. And it also goes to show na, you know, there are times na the older, the older generation is always trying to um, put this curse into the younger generation, diba? Kasi they are always led to believe na this is the better option so that you can have a peaceful life. And now, if ever Paulita has um, married that person na uh, inano ni Doña Victorina, then, of course, if Paulita did have a good life with her husband, she's going to, she's going to suggest the same thing with with the new, with the younger generation, and then it's going to be an, an ongoing curse, de ba? Instead of just simply following your heart and marrying the person that you really love, instead of having to um, cater with arranged marriages. And I'm just happy that that is not the case anymore. Basically, Filipinos right now can marry anyone that they um, that they want. There are still a lot of cases cases of arranged marriages, especially I think sa probinsya. I think that's a thing, and even I I also think sa mga tao mayaman when it comes you know for the business side of things. Pero for the most part, anybody can marry the person that they really love. So para uh, nasira natin yung curse na yun. Pero again, this is a mirror of the relationship that Mana Clara and Rizosomo Ibarra had to face. Um, here we are now seeing the plans of um, Simon. Galing pala kay 
yung bow so din na numero pala niya sa kanya tong ano uh, to which makes sense kasi you know the chinese are very good when it comes to fireworks so i wouldn't be surprised if they're able to make a bomb like this um given na yung magnetong uh, technology of a bomb came from around the, around the the, the 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 Chinese area, the China area, and the surrounding countries. Um, but with that said, this was something that I was I'm a little bit surprised because um, nalimutan ko na yung nangyari sa Elfilo Busalismo. Pero for the most part, I got this feeling na super against si Basilio sa plano ni ni Ibarra. But knowing, knowing that uh, nalaman ni, uh, I'm not sure kung paano nalaman ni Basilio yung idea na naginahasa si Huli, bak- baka dito kunin to ni Huli kay Basilio yun. Dito naman, um, the fact na nalaman ni Basilio yung nangyari kay Huli, that kind of pushed him towards um, Simon's plan. So, um, I'm not confident about what I'm going to say, pero I think it's fair to say na because Clay was able to save Huli, namatay ba si, si Huli sa ano? Sa El Filibusterismo? Did Huli... From El Filibusterismo committed suicide. Oh, we should leave it. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Tell that in detail. Um, if tell me more things about detail. Yeah, nagpakamatay. Uh, as a church tower, sometimes in the... Oh, <laughs> sometimes in the, ano, sometimes in the accurate si Bing, pero okay, being with Father Camora. Yeah, who was in prison. Ah, uh, yeah, ito nga yung accurate na yan. Okay, so, since nagpakamatay nga si Huli sa, sa El Filibus Rismo, at niligtas siya ni Clay, which is good, Ang kapalit naman yun ay nalaman ni nalaman ni Basilio yung nangyari about kay Huli nang ginahasa siya. That's why he was um umiyak na siyang he wanted revenge basically, di ba? Against Father Camora and any other higher um, ranking people out there. So, I find that interesting. Na yung ginawang change ni Clay basically also led to and uh, will lead to this thing right here kung saan magsasanib ko sa yung dalawa na to. Pero again, sa libro, I, I think it was a little bit different. Super against yata si Basilio sa mga plano ni, ni Ibarra. Pero you know, whatever kind of change na nangyari sa... Um, selfie to boost this more. I mean, this is this is a show na to. Any kind, any kind of amount of changes na nangyari ko na mga kawin ni Clay, basically nangyari pa rin ko ano yung mandat mangyari sa sa libro. Just like I said, the ink is dry. Even though it's not 100% accurate sa books about sa mga pangyayari and stuff like that, at least they're following the basic blueprints of El to boost this more. And I think we are now going to the part na again si Simon ay may lampara na napuputok doon sa kasal na yun or sa event na yun. Um, in this case, next week. Unfortunately, I won't be available next week. There will be no um, videos in the coming next two weeks kasi I'll be in Japan. Instead, when I come back, I will just do a marathon. Panoonin ko na lang. Um, do reaction videos in all of those episodes if I can. Pero yeah, 
Um, that's it, you guys. For the meantime, I will be in this two-week hiatus. And that's my reaction to episode 100. I'll try to keep in touch with you guys. And I'll try to avoid as much as many spoilers when it comes to Manakara Tebara. So thank you guys for watching. I'm excited. But with on Japan, I'm, I'm going to stop over the Philippines for just three hours. But oh yeah, um, I can't wait to eat some Filipino authentic food sa airports and the airports, airports. So there's that. Goodbye, you guys. Thank you for watching. What do you guys think? Leave a like. I hope you like the video and goodbye. And again, take care. Bye.